The big release today is Llama 3.1, and we're releasing three models. Um, the first time we're releasing a 405 billion parameter model. Um, so it's by far the most sophisticated open source model that that I think anyone has, has put out. Um, and, it, and it really kind of is competitive with some of the leading closed models and in some areas is even ahead. So I'm really excited to see what people do with that, especially now that we're making it so that our, the community policies around Llama allow people to use it as a teacher model to distill and fine tune and, um, and, and basically create whatever other models they want with it. Um, in addition to that, we've distilled the 405 billion parameter model down to make newer and updated and now leading um, for, for their size 70 billion and 8 billion parameter models. They also have really good performance, um, really good kind of cost per performance ratios. So I'm really excited to see what everyone does with this. Um, yeah, I mean, taking a step back, I think this is a pretty big moment for open source AI. Um, yeah, you know, I've been reflecting on this and I, I kind of think it's, you know, I thought for a while that open source AI was going to become the industry standard. And I thought that it would basically follow the path that Linux did, where, you know, if you, if you, um, just go back to before Linux was popular there, you know, there were all these companies that had their own closed versions of Unix. And at the time, you know, there's nothing that was sort of that sophisticated that had ever been done as an open source project. And people thought, Hey, no, this is like it, the closed model of development is the only way to do something that's this advanced. And at first Linux kind of got its foothold because, um, it was cheaper because developers could customize it in different ways. And then over time, as the ecosystem built out, it, you know, got more scrutiny. So it actually became the more secure one. It became the more advanced one. Um, there were more partners that basically had built more capabilities in the, in the case of Linux, more drivers um, and things like that, that basically ended up making it have more capabilities as well than any closed source Unix. So I think that this moment with Llama 3.1 is kind of like that inflection point where um, I think Llama has the the opportunity to become the open source AI standard for open source to become the standard, the industry standard for, for AI. And even in the places where it's not yet ahead on performance, it leads on, on kind of cost and on, on customizability and on the ability to take the model and fine tune it and do all the things that you want with it. Um, so I think that those are just huge advantages that, that we're going to see developers take. And we're focusing on building out this partner ecosystem and there are going to be all these different capabilities that get built out around it. So yeah, really excited to talk about all that.